We got all these flavors here. Dark, uh, decaf. Some of you in comments said I need decaf. <laughs> We're going to talk about the comments this morning. The best coffee in the world. Just something about it. Mmm. No breakfast this morning. I'm having breakfast with um, Fred and Raphael. But I will go over there and video it and possibly take some fruit. Let's fill up some more coffee. Where's the lid? <clears throat> it's still dark outside and there's a reason I'm up early and out of here is I'm trying to capture some of those Christmas lights while it's dark to show you how insanely cool it is here in um, Liquid Ranch. <clears throat> but I never want to leave without videoing the fantastic breakfast they have here. Look at all the condiments you have to add to your oatmeal. Brown sugar, raisins, nuts, oatmeal, whatever that is, what is that? Granola. My favorite cereal. You should grab a couple. Milk, skim milk. Potatoes. I mean, uh, I can't even uh, look it right, right? This is eggs and omelets. Put some cheese on there in the hidden thing. Today we have sausage and potatoes. All of these things I'm gonna have over there. Miss Raphael is gonna make them. And here's some uh, mayo and different things, salt and pepper. Uh, what is this? Salsa. Huh. For the uh, omelet, I guess. For the toaster to throw yourself a a pastry or a bagel in. There's all kinds of bagels. English muffins. And regular sliced bread. And some sweets up here. <clears throat> OJ. And here's the infamous waffle maker. Put your batter in one of those cups. Spray one of these pans. And flip it over. And it's a great waffle. And you got every type of sweetness you want to put on it from whipped cream, chocolate, syrup, butter, all these things. Look, everything's nice and neat. And in the center aisle here, they're uh, putting out some fruit. Look at that. Nice. Fresh cut fruit. There's a, a fresh cut grapefruit. Boiled eggs, I love them. Mmm. I just don't want to spoil my appetite, but this is good. Bananas. And what do we have here? What is all this stuff? This is some yogurts or something, probably. Some oranges, more muffins. No, these are apples. Look at that. How beautiful. All right, guys, well. And then at night, if you ever want to get anything out of the store, they have uh, late at night, you got all these little things here you can grab. There's drinks. You can microwave these things in your um, room. Look at that, ice cream. There's no reason you would have to leave the property. You can get anything you need here. Definitely. Oh, my favorite, Snickers bars. You know I'm good then. All right, guys, let's get out there and I'll show you some Christmas lights. We'll see what's going on. All right, so we're back here in the uh, crusher and the daylight is coming on us quick. So let's get over here and see these lights. There are already lights all around right here at the Hampton. Let me back out for you guys. It is, uh, what time is it? It's 51 degrees and anybody know what time it is? 6.51. So, that's not too early. This uh, shopping center that the Hampton sits right behind, let me zoom in a little bit. This, is, this building right here on the left is a PGA store. And there's everything you can imagine. University Parkway in Sarasota and the I-75 corridor 
has probably got to be, of all the places I've ever been in the country, the exit. <laughs> I mean, the exit. It has got everything. You say yes. Just say yes. It's got it. So here, look at this little, uh, little drive through here. Now, I'm telling you, they start putting these lights up probably two months before the holidays. And they're so methodically done over in the uh, palm fronds there, all LED. Let me, can I go this way? This is not a one way. Let me take you this way. I'll have to make a U-turn. This is one of the prettiest little areas here. I drove down through here last night. They always put the nice colorful lights in these bushes. But this is nothing. We're gonna go over towards Nathan Benderson Park and the mall. They just go absolutely crazy with the decorations. <clears throat> I'm ahead of the traffic, so that's good. This is the LA Fitness I used to join. I used to go there. That is a beautiful gym. Uh, when I was going there, I, uh, I was grandfathered in. I had $30 a month, a dollar a day, and it was nationwide coverage. I, it's it's very expensive to go there now, and they trying to sell you things all the time. But they're a great gym. Look at these trees. So we're going to cross straight over University Parkway. Uh, we're on Cooper Creek, I think it is. I wonder if I can catch that light. All right, slow down now. All right, now we're entering the mall. This is the Super Target over here, and this is the mall over here. But right down through this corridor here that we're going to go through several roundabouts is where they hold all kinds of street affairs and parades, and it's where all the main gathering comes to um, enjoy all the Christmas holiday events and see all these decorations. And I just love, like I say, how they go all the way up into palm fronds and wrap these trees out. These trees are wrapped. You might not see it in the video. The ones that aren't lit up right there, they're completely wrapped. But those are uh, ones that work with music and these special events they do. And they go crazy. And the tree, they've already shut it down. So maybe that's why, you know, because it's close to sunrise. Uh, here's Rocco's Tacos, Rucky, Rusty's Bucket. There's everything you can imagine. There's Ford's Garage down here. There's a Barnes & Noble right there. Everything is brand new. Everything in here is only two or three years old. All been built. And it went through the pandemic and got shut down for a while. And of course now it's hitting on all eight cylinders. Uh, in these little roundabouts, like right here, uh, they all have like these special decorations. This is the big dick sporting goods over there to the right. And that's the mall over there. And we're continuing towards Nathan Benderson Park. It's a huge park with this uh, giant lake that's a mile long. It's man-made, it's rectangular, and it's hosting the world champion rowing contest every year. Oh, this is the new Homewood Suites that the lady was telling me about that they built. That's a Hilton property I could have stayed at. I'll have to check that out next time. So as we go through here, uh, if I were to continue, in fact, I should have turned right there. I'm going to, I'm gonna turn around. That's the park straight ahead where they do the rowing competition. We are going to now ride around the back side of the mall. I'm gonna make a right right here. And we're going to see uh, the I-75 southbound side, right outside behind the mall here, going towards Naples. But they were building just up ahead here, uh, all of this new stuff. And I can see that this has been the slowest build in the world right here, it looks like. This is uh, the new aquarium that, I can't believe it's not open yet. The uh, moats, is it called moats? There's a sign up here somewhere. Uh, moats Aquarium, let me see. It's gonna look like a boat. It's, it's, the architecture is amazing. Wow, they're really just now getting going with that. Um, let me roll down this window. 
Yeah. See, it's going to look like a boat. But all right here, this little miniature golf thing, this is a, uh, uh, what's that called? Uh, something, I'll, I'll get the name of it up here. I think Tiger Woods owns part of this. Uh, yeah, Pop Stroke. Pop Stroke. And look, what is this? What is this? So right there is the mall. There's the UTC University Town Center Mall. All the way down here. It's a huge, huge mall. It's about 10 years old only. Wonderland. What is Wonderland? Oh, it's something for Christmas. Wow. Circus parking. It's a circus. Called Wonderland. Yeah, you know, this is home to the Ringling Brothers and to uh, this one high wire walker uh, guy and his wife and his family that's known. Uh, he's always having, I forget his name. Maybe you can let me know in the comments. I know a lot of people live in Sarasota here. Watch me. Uh, you know, that famous guy, he's always got something going on, walking the high wire and doing special circus type events. But see, all of this was to be constructed and made a theater, an ice skating rink, uh, condominiums. There's the I-75. <laughs> That's going towards Naples. And all of these signs were up here a few years ago when they started uh, planning all this. And they were hung on this fence showing what it looked like, what it was going to be. And all of it, most of it, has not come to fruition yet. It's very, very little. I think the economy or the speculation of the future economy has these investors kind of tapping the brakes some. Here's the big Macy's at the University Town Center Mall. Now this could be, who knows, you know, the ice skating rink, the movie theater. Oh. Tesla. <laughs> Let me tell you, folks, when I lived here, I think this was the Tesla capital. Everybody in Sarasota has a Tesla. Teslas are dime a dozen here. Yeah. There's a lot of very affluent people in Sarasota Lakewood Ranch now. This is no, this is, this is Boca Raton. This is, this is, if you got it, you're here. It's really, uh, and that's cool, but it's also become catering to really just the money. Uh, when it comes to renting something here, living here, uh, even dining out and doing things, everything is over the top expensive. And you know, when they built the mall right there, that was the only structure in this whole area. There was nothing there, just land, you know? And then they just started making this and to be honest with you, the exit here at university, they uh, they built so much that, you know, there's a super target and everything right over there, the Dicks, all of these popular stores, the traffic is absolutely off the chain crazy. And they even built the very first diamond interchange in the state of Florida, <clears throat> right here at I-75 and University Parkway. We're going to drive through it right now, and I want to go out east. I'm saying it right because I, I usually get backwards when I come over here. Uh, out east is like inland here because we're on the west coast, and then heading back over towards uh, West Palm. But it's too early to hit up my friends. I've got another couple of hours, so I want to take you guys and show you a place called Waterside. I'll put the phone in, <coughs> in the iAudi. I've got the... Uh, <coughs> Morning voice. I'm trying to drink this coffee and wake up. I took a nice shower. I had a great night's sleep in my room. But right now, we're going to go through this diamond interchange. Now, what you're looking at, I've got you in the eye, Audi, is where I stayed. That's the uh, across the north side of University Parkway. And that's where that LA Fitness is. And <clears throat> you'll see in just a minute, as I pan around, right about now, right there is where I stay at the Hampton. 
So, as I get in here, I'll zoom in a little bit. Look at these signs. This is, uh, instead of going straight across on this side of the freeway, watch what happens here. Oh, well, I guess you'll get a better view of it. I'm gonna stop. There's the Hampton over there. Let me roll down the window. There's the Hampton I stayed in. Look at the road. It's called a diamond interchange. <clears throat> if you're not familiar with these, it, it diverts traffic to the other side. And look at these people. They're coming from what normally would seem right. You would go this way, and they're going back on the correct side. The design was intended so that people, when they came off I-75, uh, could just keep rolling and not have to make any kind of a left or right-hand turn in front of traffic. So, if that makes any sense. And if you want to get on 75 northbound, if I was over in my left-hand lane, uh, there's two lanes over there that would just go right on around and get on the on-ramp. And I'm in a lane that's going to go straight and then come back over to this side once we get underneath the bridge. It's a diamond. So you see, we're going on the other side of the road. And we're swinging around. And after we go through this light, it's taking us back to the other side of the road. But see, you can get on 75 right there. And the people that are right there on the left, they're gonna go over there. Now we're coming back to the correct side of the road. Yeah. That was the first one made in Florida. If you want to lock yourself into where you have nothing but miles around you of nothing but just money and newness and landscape and gorgeousness and things to do and places to go and people to meet and whatever, you're looking at it right here. You're looking at it. I'm telling you, there is no better place than Sarasota, Florida and Lakewood Ranch specifically. But, it's way, way, way above my pay grade. And I don't covet my neighbor and I'm not jealous. I'm happy for these people. But I'm also sad to the fact that everything is way overvalued right now. Even as expensive as this place would be if it was normal price, it's just stupid prices right now. I'm talking, well, it's the way it is everywhere, right? It's nothing different anywhere. You can't buy a trailer uh, for, you know, any kind of good price now. But things are going to change, hopefully. Look at this for walking and riding your bike. Look at this road. Look at those crepe myrtles there. Look at all this landscaping. Those are called crepe myrtles there, all these trees right there. They're supposed to cut those way, way down to a, just to the quick. And they grow like crazy. So it's winter time, you know, almost. It's fall. <clears throat> Christmas time. Uh, the temperature is 51 right now, which is <laughs> beautiful. It's going to warm up nice today when the sun gets up. I'm going to be enjoying a beautiful breakfast <clears throat> that Miss Raphael is going to make. I apologize for my voice. I can't get it. I don't know. I'm getting older. I see the sunrise coming up over on my left uh, from the east. You know, you get the sunrises over there in Boynton Beach if you go to the beach. Look at this long walking, jogging, bike lane, whatever you want to do, <clears throat> street here for exercise. Look at this. Now, I'm going to take you into Waterside. We're driving down here to Waterside. This is the newest build uh, that has like um, it has its own little stores and restaurant and I've, I've videoed it before here it is waterside place you're in for a treat I hope the video can capture now these are all uh, condos or rental apartments that are of course you better have some serious cake they wanted $2,100 a month for that two-bedroom. Uh, Raffaella was telling me where I used to live. And those were built in 01. 
and they're not blocked. They're not anything. They're just, <clears throat> they were apartments one day, you know, in the day. These are, these are nice. Look at the glass windows and stuff they have. So straight ahead is a, a park. And also, let me just take this off the Iotti because we're just going to ease around in here. Where's the selfie stick? I have to show you guys. Indulge me one second. Who else is going to bring you this kind of content? I'm kind of silly for promoting it because we don't need anybody else to come here. And so they're still building. This is a tremendous, huge lake over there, straight ahead. But as you drive down, these were the newest ones built, uh, the first things built. These are the apartments. And then I'm going to let this guy behind me go around. Over here is the, um, I know you don't want to see that in my view. <clears throat> There's retail. Let me back out for you. There's retail below the apartments or condos. And probably Grand Central is right over in here. Let me zoom in a little bit more. And they'll have on weekends, certain time of the year, uh, like a big flea market area here where they put up all the easy ups and people sell things and the breads and the knickknacks and patty wax and all that. So all retail and there's this famous, uh, the brewery right here. And they have, uh, what do you call that? Where you throw the bean bags um, in the cornhole. It's called cornhole. They have cornhole set up right here. And then this is the uh, restaurant bar. But what's cool about it is on the outside, there's also this little area with that roof to sit. Let me show you. Let me zoom in. All of these seating areas to hang out is a huge lake, as you can see. And the building continues. Um, I probably should just step out for one second. I'll, I will. I'll get out for you guys. This is not doing any good showing you my door windows and my rear view mirror. You have to see this. So we'll take us a short little walk right here. This kind of guy I am. Turn the lights out, Baker. Oh, I miss it here so much. I really do. Look at the tree. I can zoom back in a little bit now. Big, giant Christmas tree. I'm sure at night it's all lit up beautifully. And you, you're not going to believe these chairs. They're indoor-outdoor cushions. So they, I guess they can take the, the rain if it rains. Um, but all this here, there's people galore that come here. It's cold to be out here right now. I'm cold. I should have got my jacket on. I have never been here with the Christmas tree before. Uh, all this is waterside. This is waterside. And when they have those artsy fartsy festivals, it's just lined with easy ups all the way down, all the way up, uh, you know, selling different things. And look at this. Look at all the seating. You sit here. It'd be nice to have like those gas fire pits. They do that big time in California. And this is the restaurant. Uh, brewery and then there's a huge park over there in the middle I'll zoom in uh, for the kids and there's a pool and then I'll come over here and show you the lake and just kind of zoom in across the way you can see how big and massive the uh, this area is of where they're building and what I'm looking at right now before I zoom in for you I can already see that the building has basically shut down now, this has been two years. I've seen the same thing two years ago. Wow. While there's still more going up, I'll, I will give you that. It is not completed. Look at the Adirondacks. Sit out here when it's much warmer, which it is 99% of the time. And just look at the lake. You sit here. Let me turn around and show you. Turn back around. There's a bridge that goes over that into the pool. This is all the retail back there. Let me zoom out. And this is where people can just get together and get acquainted and sit here and come with your friends. It's a lovely place to, you know, come out of your condo or 
uh, your home. I'm going to zoom in now and show you the other side of the lake of what uh, what's going on outside of Waterside, but it's still cold Waterside over there. Wow, is it cold? And you're welcome to just come over here and have regular meets, and uh, you know this is a real great way to intermingle and get to acquainted with your community. This is a very inviting people galore come here and you can just strike up conversations, all the things we talk about on the channel and you can probably make some great connections and just meet some really, really nice people. Even maybe start some relationships. It's just all good. Everything that you can imagine would be available for you. You got your shopping and all of that. I love it. It looks great. And <clears throat> I'm going to zoom in now, and we're going to try to pan slowly so you don't get herky-jerky. So, boom, I zoomed in. I think I've got even more zoom I can do. Yep, that's full zoom. And I'm going to work from my uh, left to my right. And you can see across the lake there, some of them don't have the roofs on them yet. I'll go slow. a few structures a lot of openness uh, right about here and then I'll speed up just a little bit to get down here and show you uh, what I'm talking about let me walk out here a little bit sorry okay here we go look at this It's way over there. And then, sorry, let me walk out here. See the crane? See all the building there? And the big apartment building going up right there. And then behind the, the park that's right here, there's another one of those apartment buildings. Anyway, just coming back around huge lake a lot of construction right there I don't know if that space right there will be filled in probably they don't let anything go like hey there's a spot there let's build something on it uh, but look how big this lake is there's no motorboats or things like that allowed probably not that deep and as we uh, walk back over here to the crusher and drive on around a little bit more <clears throat> you'll see there is a i think you can take a, like a sailboat or a little um, non-motorized I, I think there's something down here you might be able to go out there but no water skiing or you know zipping around that kind of that kind of thing is allowed and the last time i was here I do remember most of these were uh, built, but empty, not occupied, not leased. So it looks like a few more occupants have come in to Waterside here. That looks like some signs, but I don't think anyone's coming soon. So yeah, there's a, there's a delay and maybe it's the economy. Maybe it's just that, uh, the rent and what it costs to do it. And I don't know, maybe because they're not fully occupied yet with the, uh, with the residents. And you know, it was, it's a little bit of a drive over here from like other parts of Sarasota. I don't know. It just seems like in a couple of years, <clears throat> it's still unfinished. So right here, this little, Marina. It's even got a sign. It says Marina. No idea why the video uh, camera keeps shutting off on me as I came out of there. But I was saying, yeah, a lot of these roundabouts. And but I just love this road right here. If you want to come out of Waterside, there's another entrance right there to it. Uh, of a little subdivision that you're building of some beautiful, gorgeous, expensive homes. 
I bet people are just chomping at the bit to get in there. Like, let me live in there quick. I can't wait to move in. But look at this long road down to University Parkway uh, to take a good walk every morning and very little traffic, uh, very pretty. And if you want to ride your bike, and there's other roads like this very nearby that are just like this, just beautiful, brand new, uh, with sidewalks and bike lanes. Really, really nice. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would really appreciate. Oh, that sign just said, from the 1.2 million to such and such. <laughs> Those signs used to say from like 300s, 400s, 600s, 700s. Oh my goodness. From 1.2. Don't forget about the point two. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up. Uh, it does help the algorithm and uh, put the video out to share with everybody else so more people will move here. <laughs> but it'll help in the search box. And uh, if you wouldn't mind uh, hitting the more button on my videos and drop down and you can see the uh, links that I have uh, put in my videos to uh, uh, get you to Amazon and buy me a coffee and anything else you can use uh, that can help the channel out and support me. I really appreciate those that want to take the time to do that. God bless everybody. Merry Christmas and crush it! <laughs>